Hi, it's Jason from Feature Radiators. So today we're going to take a look at measuring up for curved column radiators. So this is an example of a curved radiator here. I'm sorry I don't have a bait to put it in, but it gives you a good idea of what's achievable. And curved radiators are a great way to utilise space that may not otherwise be used, so it frees up space in the room for things like furniture, etc. Um, the first thing you need to know is what heat output you need for your room. Now, my previous video on heat calculations has helped you with that and we've got a link to it below. But if you need any more help, you can call us, email us, or use your online chat facility. We'd always recommend that your curved radiators are floor standing rather than wall mounted. And that just alleviates any potential issues with fitting. So for example, if you may have an uneven wall. Now we need three key measurements to be able to work it out for you. So your first measurement is a measurement from the floor to the bottom of the windowsill. Now, we would always leave at least a 40mm gap from the top of the radiator to the bottom of the sill. That's not, to make it, not only to make it more aesthetically pleasing, but also it helps with air circulation and heat distribution. Your second measurement is a measurement of the width of the bay. So if we look at this diagram here, you've got the width of the bay, which is also known as the cord, and I know here it's dimension A. And then the third measurement is a measurement from the centre of the bay to either the skirting board, if you've got one, or the wall, also known as a camber, and this is dimension B. So, to recap, first measurement from the floor at the bottom of the windowsill. Second measurement is from the width of the bay, which is also known as a cord. Third measurement is the depth of the bay, so from the centre of the bay to the skirting board, if you've got one, or the wall, also known as the camber. So from these, we generate the radius of the curve, and this radius assumes a 45 millimetre gap from the back of the radiator to the wall. So once you've got your measurements, if you can either call us uh, or contact us using online chat facility or email, we'll be able to work out what radiator size meets your requirements and generate a price for you. We can also work out whether it needs to be two, three or four columns deep. So if you look at this one, this is a three column deep and we can make them up to 40 sections in length and these are your number of sections. Um, if it does help, we do have a template that you can put the dimensions on as well and send it through to us, so just let us know if you want that. Um, I hope the video helps. If you do need any more help or assistance, you can either call us, email us, use online chat, or use the comment section below. All right, thanks.